about the rock. Is cooking. Can you smell what Google's cooking? Hold on to your seats because Google just dropped something interesting. A sneak peek of what Gemini 2 might look like. Code name Experiment 1114. And let me tell you, this is not just another update. Sure, Google track record with Gemini has been, let's say, colorful, from the famous generated images to some of the wild stuff like telling user please die when you ask for a homework assistant and thinking that C++ is dangerous for teens. But here is the thing, when it comes to disappointment, Google never disappoint. That's just a fact. What we knew so far, it's rocking a 32K context windows, which is not mind blowing at all. But wait, there is more to the story. Before we dive into the benchmark and testing it, let me say I'm not hyping this model. We have been burned before, but something feels different this time. Let's take a look to the benchmark before we start. First of all, I want you to completely ignore the Shadbot Arena leaderboard. They're not testing the model or the leaderboard doesn't test the model as it should be. And first of all, it's right now number one over there on top of gbt 40 and the O1 Preview and the OM Mini. The Shadbot Arena leaderboard bought Sonnet 3.5 new number eight. And this is kind of mind boggling. The Gemini 1.5 Pro is on top of the Claudia 3.5 Sonnet. So this leaderboard is not testing the model for the categories, it's testing the model of how seems intelligent it is. This benchmark is called Live Bench. It's one of the best benchmarks out there. This is more realistic. So this is the benchmark we should consider when you look to a new model. They're testing the model in different categories like reasoning, mathematics, data analysis, language, coding, and they rank it based on the total global average. And here we have the first one is O1, preview, makes sense, Claudia new, the Sonnet, the old Sonnet, and O mini, then Gemini experiment 1114. This is the first time seeing Gemini is competing with GPT-40. Usually the best one they had was Gemini 1.5 Pro, the, the updated version. Let's take a look to the coding. The first one, of course, is the Sonnet model, new and old, then the 32B coder, then some of the open source model, then after that is Gemini Experiment 1114. So it's better than the Haiku model and better than the GBT 40 for coding. That's what I care about as a developer. In reasoning, they're just behind the Sonnet new, which is very good model also. So it seems overall this new model, the Gemini Experiment 1114, doing very good on this benchmark compared to other model from Gemini family. And I found these results on Twitter for the AIME, which is a benchmark for very hard math and reasoning. And it seems like it's right now just behind the O1 preview and above the Sonnet new. This is really good. He said that the Gemini Experiment 1114 model from Google is quite good at reasoning. It improves over the Gemini 1.5 Pro version 2 by huge margin. And it's second only to O1 preview. To access this model, it's straight and easy. Go to Google AI Studio. On your right bar, you will, you will find this drop down, and from it, you can select any model that you want. You will find this section called the preview Gemini Experimental 1114. You're gonna select it, of course. Don't play with anything, and of course, you will see the token count exchange to 32K which is very low and here we can ask it anything. So I'm going to test its capability in general, not as a coding assistant, because I think 32K context links is not good enough for a coding assistant as a model. And honestly, when I used it as a coding assistant, the ABI was kind of very slow for some reason. I'm gonna show you how to connect it, of course, to Visual Studio Code and use it there and how to access it for free. And of course, I'm gonna show you the result of the test. So let's get started. I'm going to test it, compare it to the Gemini 1.5 Pro version two, which is really decent model also. 
And both of them for the first question, which is if a train leaves a station traveling at 60 miles per hour and another train leaves the same station 30 minutes later traveling at 90 miles per hour, how far from the station will these two trains meet? The correct number should be 90 miles from the station and both of them got me the correct answer. My second question is this thing is for math and natural language processing. A triangle has size of lengths. 7 cm, 24 and 25. Is this triangle a right triangle? Justify your answer using Pythagorean theorem. So both of them give me the correct number, which is 625, which is another correct answer. But as you can see here, the experiment model on the left conclusion is give me that it is a right triangle. And it's kind of the way it solved it and the steps is slightly more clear and better than the Gemini 1.5 Pro. This question should be kind of confusing and trick the model to give us usually the wrong answer. In a family of six members, A and B and C and D and E, and A and F is a teacher, B is the mother of C and D, E is the father of A, F is the brother of C, how many males are there in this family? The correct number should be three. And let's see how they're gonna handle this kind of weird equation. This is a really cool answer from experiment model. They got us, they did solve it in two different ways. The first one, there should be three males if E and F and A is male. And there should be two males if only E and F, which is kind of very good. Here the second model, which is the bro gave us, there are at least three males in the family, but he doesn't give us the second scenario. So this is really cool. Like I can see it's already that the Gemini experiment model is better in terms of reasoning by miles from the 1.5 row. The common question will test the capability of creative writing. Write a short story that begin with the sentence, the last leaf fell from the tree just as she made her decision. Let's hit run. So both of this model got the short story correct. It started with the same sentence, but the experiment model feel more like a writer, a very good one also, that details of the story and it feel more cinematic. Here the 1.5 row, it have this weird feeling that it's being copied from an online post on Reddit. A common question will test its capability for logic and solving issues. If you are tasked with designing public transportation system for a city with heavy traffic, what factors would you consider to ensure efficiency and sustainability? They're both equally good at their answer. Some of the points of experiment are very good, like starting with understanding the city and its need, and some of the points like finding a long term from the 1.5 bro model. But I feel like experiment have select more one step on top of the 1.5 row in terms of thinking. But 1.5 row is really decent also. Next question discuss the ethical implications of using AI in surveillance system. What the potential benefit and risk? The answer for this question was really similar from both model, like the same almost points. It's kind of very tight over here, but the format for the experiment is much better than the Pro version 2. And also the ending, the conclusion of the experiment is really good. I think this experiment model will be very good as a coding assistant when it launched as a full model as Gemini 2 in December. The reason is I asked it write an algorithm to sort an array of integer of integers in ascending order using any sorting techniques you prefer. The 1.5 model give me the code immediately but the experiment model it started to plan first and selecting the algorithm bubble sort and told me how to initialize it and the iteration how it will work then termination and how to use it basically and how the Basido code representation of it will look like this is amazing like it's planning ahead like a 
software developer before he started any project. Then it gave me this small code, the bro model. It just gave me this piece of code, which is very long, then explain it, and that's it. The experiment model, after it's done, also explained it, and did give me a note. Bubble sort is, is simple, but not very efficient for large array. So it's kind of also did this in the bro version, in the 1.5 model also, it did this as a warning. I can already see that the code for the experiment model is better than the 1.5 bro which is really kind of good for us in the future. This is the experiment model code. When you hit run, it will give you this results and it's correct, sorted the array. This is the result from the 1.5 model. It's also working, but I don't know why it's much longer. And uh, this is the results, it's already correct. I know this is not a real world scenario and you guys told me this before on the comments and I kind of understand that I have to change the question that I ask for the coding assistant in the future to see if it's really good or not. I'm just trying to see if the experiment model is actually improvement over the correct model that we have or not. All cats are mammals. Some mammals are not dogs. Therefore, can we conclude that some of the cats are not dogs? Explain your reasoning. This is really tricky questions to throw off the model out there and see what it can do in terms of reasoning. To tell you the short answer for both of them, the experiment is insane at reasoning. Like for real, it's on this level of O1 Mini and O1 Preview. And it's slightly slow, yeah, than the 1.5, I understand. But you can see here, this is the answer basically for the 1.5 row. And this is the answer of the experiment. It's taking step, it's explaining every single step that it takes. It's just really good at explaining why it got to this conclusion. 1.5 is more like, yeah, my conclusion, yeah, cats are not dogs. And, and that's it. Basically, you don't have to know how I got to this conclusion. But the experiment model is not like this at all. It's walk you step by step slowly to get to the results. And I also tested at OCR, giving it this, give it this image, have a handwriting, and I told it, give me the handwriting text inside this image. Both of them did it, but the experiment was much faster for some reason, which is kind of odd. I tried to solve CAPTCHA with it, and it's actually did correct. It did it correct, the UR890. Both of them got it right, but also experiment was much faster in giving me the answer in the 1.5. Now let's try to build a simple app using the experiment model. I want to show you also how you can connect it to Visual Studio Code, but unfortunately I tried Klein, it didn't work for some reason, it started to hallucinate and did give me this kind of loop over the questions over and over, continue, I couldn't found it there yet. The only one that I could connect it to is the code GBT. Install it from the extensions, it have one million and a half in installation so it's kind of very wild to see this number the code gbt will allow us to connect to almost any provider that exists on the planet earth when you install it go to the select your ai select the provider that you want in our case it the google ai studio and i already connected there but when you select the google ai studio you will have to select the model and Click connect over there, it will give you an input to put your ABI key over there. And I'm already connected, so I can ask it the question that I want. You can simply get the ABI key if you are lost from this button, get the ABI key. And over there you can click, you can click create a new ABI key and connect it to a project that you have inside Google and will give you a free ABI. The question is really simple, create a program that tracks daily expenses for user and calculate the total expenses for this week, as well the average daily expenses using JavaScript and make it dark, seem with modern creative style and hit send. This is the result that I got. It's a really simple app, but it did give me total weekly expenses, the average daily, and here you can add expenses from this input the colors are dark and it's really decent and easy on the eye i really want to test this module as a coding assistant only but i feel like if i test it only as a coding assistant right now 
I will be not doing justice for it. First, it's not completely compatible with Klein or continue yet. And I'm going to create actually the portfolio that we talked about, but I'm going to promise you to test this model as a coding assistant in the real world, not just giving it, please create the snake game or life game. I will take it to the field and see if it can survive or not. I hope that you're aware right now of the existence of this model and the promise that it gives us for the coming Gemini 2 in December. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like button and subscribe. We are almost at the 3000. I think I'm going to do it this week. Thank you already for all the lovely comments and the guide and the feedback that I get in the channel. You are the best thing about this channel so far. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video where I'm going to talk about the Windsurf editor, a new editor that's competing with Cursor from Codium. See you later, alligators.